Hey guys, um, this video I'm going to do an unboxing of a network battery backup unit uh, made by APC and uh, it's the model number BGE90M and uh, um, there's also another model number available BGE70 uh, the difference is the 70 does not have the USB port as showing the pictures and also the 70 lasts a little bit shorter in terms of the battery runtime um, and uh, this one is specifically made for network devices so if you have a router if you have a cable modem um, this thing works perfectly and uh, it also have a 2.5 amp USB charging port and I assume it's two ports combined for 2.5 amps so not very powerful, but still very useful um, if you actually need a USB port. And uh, it comes with three year warranty. Um, uh, this model does not have the AVR feature, which is the automatic uh, voltage regulation. So um, if you have a, I guess, electricity grid that does not output um, constant 120 volt voltage, you might want to consider something a little bit better, a little bit larger, and that have the AVR model, AVR feature. And also this one, if you look closely, it only have uh, two prong um, in each of the three ports that have. So if you have some larger devices or you have devices that have three prongs, you'll want to consider something else as well. So uh, without further ado, let me uh, open the packaging and see uh, what's inside. And uh, it's not a uh, very big device for sure. So take off the top. There is a user manual, I believe. Oh. And here is the device itself. Let's take it out. The box is empty. Put it away. So here's the device, and uh, let's see, take off the plastic packaging, the scissor. All right, and uh, it's actually uh, not a bad looking UPS backup, um, and it looks like the power cord is uh, about six foot long, so plenty long for to reach for the um, wall plugs that's a little bit further away. Yep, six foot, looks about right. And uh, so here's the back of the unit. I'm not sure if this is removable. Nope, it's, it's not removable. Um, and here looks like the circuit breaker. And so before I use it, I have to actually physically connect the battery first. So I believe all the device, UPS devices are shipped um, with the battery disconnected. So to turn product over and remove rear cover and connect the battery. Looks like you just need to plug it in. Um, and of, of course here is the power button. It's kind of firm press. And 2.5 amps USB charging port. And here's the uh, side of the unit. It's fairly compact. Um, it looks like uh, there are uh, two mounting areas for you to mount this on a wall or secure it at some locations. And of course, let's turn over to the back and see if the battery can be connected. So the battery slot is right over here. I'm trying to do it with one hand. So that's a battery panel. Um, I think I have to take the battery out. 
stuff like that. So, yep. So one of the prong is disconnected. Um, I have to. Let's see. How do I do that? Oops. with one hand sorry and just pushing it in firmly and I guess I'm gonna slide the device back into the unit the battery back into the unit all right so now it's battery is back and it's already connected I'm gonna put the cover on and flip over and give it a test and for the um, claimed battery hour battery runtime um, if you have let's see let's put the packaging so here's the specs if you have about 10 watts uh, usage on your devices, you can run it for 4.5 hours. And if you have 20 watts plugged into the unit, uh, it gives you an example like broad broadband modem, wireless router, and a VoIP phone. So that's about 20 watts, and uh, it would run for 1.5 hours, which is still plenty of time for power outages. And usually in my area, the power is out for about uh, five to 10 minutes max. and extreme cases maybe 20 30 minutes so um, it's a really good number and for such a compact device um, let's turn on the power and see what happens and it's blinking so i would assume it's running on battery power uh, because i haven't plugged it in so um, maybe i should just plug it in and see what happens All right, so when it's running on battery power, I think the slide would flash. And if you actually have it plugged and there's uh, actual power uh, from the wall outlet, the light would stay green. And uh, let's take this out. Holes. So three small two prong holes, I mean standard, not small. And uh, as mentioned earlier, this is probably best suited for small devices or maybe like chargers and anything like that. Um, so usually the network device have two prong connections. So I'll show you what I have already um, plugged in. I have a, it might be too dark. I have a CyberPower uh, 625VA UPS uh, device connected. So right here I have actually four devices that actually needs power. So I have my um, actual cable modem, I have the um, a hub, and I have a router, and I also have a NAS device connected. So um, that's the reason I used a little bit larger UPS power supply, because I want to be able to shut down the NAS properly when the power is out. But if you have a NAS device, um, you probably don't want to use this, because it's going to run out of the juice fairly quickly. Um, Keep that in mind so it's it might be best to be used just for router cable modem and maybe a hub and uh, um, of course extra ports for your usb devices and uh, if you are running a computer and things like that you need something even more powerful so over here i have a cyber power um, a larger capacity backup unit ups backup unit and this one, it gives me an estimated runtime of 60 minutes, uh, which is plenty for running a computer, running a LED monitor, a speaker, and the three devices I would be able to run for about an hour uh, if the power's out. And for that 650V unit, 
it's about 300 watt hours um, I guess that that's a rating that they supply to us so uh, if I have those routers NAS and whatever devices plugged in I should be able to run it as they estimate for about one hour to two hours um, and uh, so all the specs are about same I mean for most of the devices at their rating for the UPS um, it's about an hour runtime optimal um, if you have devices that draws plenty of power so this one is also designed to run for quite a long time if you only have a network devices attached so um, and I think it charges it charges itself uh, let's see if there's specs probably not uh, but I think it charges itself in a um, couple hours like six hours maybe um, so once the power is um, completely run down, it takes a couple hours to fully charge it back to uh, normal. Um, so yeah, I think that concludes uh, this unboxing. So if you guys need a remote, reliable, small, portable UPS backup device for your network routers and your cable modems, I think this is definitely the way to go. It's uh, much more compact and it looks really, really sleek. Um, I think I would I would even put it on my desktop if there's devices that needs to be plugged in because just it doesn't look as bad as uh, the cyber power unit right over there. It's just plain ugly. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, get the UPS device for the purpose that you need and always buy. I mean, it doesn't hurt to buy something that's a little bit over or more powerful than you need because um, it's only it only means it's gonna last a little bit longer. Uh, than you need to but um, that concludes this uh, review or unboxing and if you guys have any uh, questions about this uh, UPS backup unit feel free to ask me in the comments section and uh, I'll also post a Amazon link um, where I bought it and so you, if you guys are ever interested um, you can directly purchase from the link and again thank you so much and uh, take care